um, using our coordinates toolbar. And we're going to start by just planning out the arc of our head turn. Now, if you remember in our last video, we basically went through and turned on and off our character. And before I actually start planning the head turn, maybe I'll go into my library and I can maybe select his eyes. And I can turn them on. I'll just put these two on so we have some eyes that are on. And I'll go to the last frame and again I'll select the eye and turn them on. Just so we can have something a little bit more interesting than these closed eyes. Now, maybe I will start to plan out where these eyes are going to sit. And I'll put them, maybe he's looking over his shoulder. So I'll move that one over there and that one over there. And I'll do the same thing on the last frame. Now, because these are different heads, that's why the keyframe information didn't move over. Okay, so we have a couple of heads. Frame one, frame two, frame three. Now, that's a kind of it's kind of a boring head turn because there's not much of an arc into it. So we're gonna first go in and start to plan the arc. And I'm gonna go to frame one and press shift plus. And that's how I spread my keyframes out. And I'm gonna start kind of working a little bit of an arc of this head. So let's say let's let's make it go down a little bit and, and maybe we can add a lot of squash to it and I'll just squash that a little bit and stretch that out a little bit skew it down so we have one two one two I can even start taking the face and rotating it a little bit just enough to so we can see it moving a little bit. Now, I want this arc of this middle head maybe to be down. And because I've squashed that other head, I'll do the same to this one a little bit. Maybe I'll make the arc of the face a little bit lower. And we can start to see an arc forming of that action. Now I'm going to go to my last frame. This is my last keyframe. I'm going to put a keyframe after that, pressing this button, insert keyframe. And then I'm going to modify the second last frame. And that's going to be, maybe I'll move his head down a little bit and his features down a little bit. And his ears, we'll make them a little bit lower too. And I'll flip. Maybe we, we just tilt his head this way a bit. Wash it a bit. And we've built a little bit of an arc for this action and you can see the how the features are arcing around and let's just see if that would be a little bit better yeah we can kind of see the arc happening in our features of our character I'm just going back and forth from frame to frame now you'll notice my, I'm hitting F and G and that's just a preference that I like in in harmony uh, the, the, the default preference actually is if I go to Preferences and I show you, I go to General. For my next frame, I'm using G. And my previous frame, I'm using F. Because I like, I just, I've got used to using those. But normally what you'd press is your uh, comma and period to go through your animation. So just a little thing to keep in mind. I'm pressing F and G because that's my forward and back keys. And you can change your forward and back keys to whatever you like. I prefer F and G. Okay, so now I, I'm gonna just do one quick, I'm gonna start moving his eye actually in this frame. So 
So we have, okay, and that's the end of this video. We're going to show you how to spread the frames out, add eases, and in between them. Thank you.